Hey there guys, Case of 41 here, playing some uh, door kickers is what the game's called. Now, uh, hmm. basically uh, what this game is is like a SWAT tactics game where you're supposed to uh, drop all the insurgents uh, inside without, uh, without losing your people here. Now I don't have enough like stars to do anything, so I think I'm gonna start doing uh, official missions here. I'm pretty sure you can like start to lose your people though, so I'm not too sure what happens whenever you lose people. Maybe you can buy more. I I don't know. So we'll do um, single mission here. I don't know. We'll do campaign. Um, unlocked at squad level four. So I actually can't do like any of this. I don't understand why that's a thing then. So we'll do a single mission. Um, we'll do clear the kill house first. I have not played this game yet. I have seen a couple people play it though. So I, I kind of know what's going on. But uh, we'll see. Alright, so this is the planning stage. And this is how you um, are going to figure out stuff. So he has, he has one flashbang. No. Ugh. Yeah, so he has flashbang. Now, I know you uh, do that to have them like adjust their uh, aim there, but uh, as far as like making a move goes, oh wow, that's dumb. How do I undo that? Uh, yeah, delete that action and delete that action. That was dumb. So I'm gonna have you move like right here and then uh, look down the hallway and then I'm gonna have on it. No. Trash that. Just stack up behind him. And uh Wow, that's dumb. Okay. So then we'll set that as um Wait for clear. And, uh. We'll see how that goes. Okay, so we did have him there. We'll have you push up here. And then, uh. Throw a flashbang. There. And we'll have you push up around here. I'm on. Um, flashbang target is going to be go code alpha and then from her to move from there to here okay. is going to be go code bravo and uh, after that oh no, don't hold after you throw the flashbang I want you to move in and clear with her as well like so and she's going to uh, look that way and push forward continuing looking this way here and let's see how that all pans out for us oh or she could do that um oh okay that's right because I have to hit alpha go yep and then it's gonna blind her yeah, and go code Bravo. Bravo. Go. Yep, I'm dumb. Okay. That's fine by me, though. Okay, so she's injured. He's not. Push him. Have him look that way. Push up to here. Got it. Like so. And just have him kind of do that. Run. We'll have her stack up. Covering. Covering. Alright. So there's nobody here. Oops. We'll have him push up like so. Okay. From there, throw a flashbang. Nope, in here. And uh, we'll have her just stack. Welcome. In position. So you threw flash. Um, wait like one second here. Moving. Looks clear. Detonated. Okay, have him look that way and move in. 
straight ahead, have her walk in like that, and look that way. And go. Pretty good. Good job. We're done here. Not bad. I got two stars, that's not too bad. Time to beat 15 seconds, yeah. It's kind of my bad for uh, the initial go code thing. Um, without pausing. Okay, that's not gonna happen. Continue. That's pretty good. Did we get, we got two stars, which I guess goes to our roster here, which is okay. Now I guess so long as these people don't die, uh, we're all right. Now, she has a G17. I kind of would like to, uh, squad, okay, so higher squad levels until we can, uh, get any further with that. So she has 100% accurate. He, he has 80. Um, she just seems to be better at assault shooting, which is not so good with s skills, so. So that's a Glock. Um, we could give her a better vest. I actually think we're going to give her um, breaching charges as opposed to uh, flashbangs. Um, yep, that's what we're going to do because I don't want, I mean, I suppose she should have some flashbangs though. And everybody already has breaching charges and flashbangs right now, so I think that's not a bad idea. So I think we will give her some kind of a higher stopping power pistol, although we can't because we only have two stars. So we're just going to go back to single mission. Now, I have a feeling if you keep replaying these, you can get more and more stars. Um, I don't really know. Ah, that's good. Soda. So this is supposed to be two. Clear hostels. Okay. So who we got? We just got two people. Okay. <sighs> Best way to take care of this would probably... Assuming they're all in there. <laughs> be for... I don't know why I keep having them look certain directions all the time. Have him go in here, throw a flashbang inside directly there, and then uh, have her move in here, and have him... Oh, what did we just do? Oh, we cancelled our flashbang. Okay, so this is going to be go code alpha though. Holding. Moving. Um, and then this guy, throw flashbang inside. And then uh, from there, move in like so, looking like that. Actually, check there, and then take like a step this way, and then check there. And uh, we'll tell you to uh, wait for clear, don't move until there's hostiles. And I think that should kind of about do it, as long as I set this to be go code alpha as well. Now, as soon as this goes, I'll throw the flashbang, I'll give go code alpha, and that means clear the room. Or that. I'm so frustrated now because I don't understand. Alright. Oh, wait, no. Moving from there is go code alpha. Check. I'll remember that one. Flashbang in, like so, and uh, have her move over here, and then uh, from here, go code alpha to move up, like so, clear there, um, like so, and then from there, uh, no. Clear that area. Take a step. Clear that area. Holding. Moving. Um, for you. Crap. Okay. Move there. Flashbang. Yes. Here. And then, uh... From there... This one needs to be go code alpha. And then from there, move in. Clearing. Oop. Oh. Ah, crap. Now you're all funky. There we go. From there, move in like that. And, uh, clear like that. And then take a step and clear like that. Now this one should all pan out the way I want it to. Step, step. Whoop. 
go code alpha, and go drop them. Yeah. Okay. So I kind of got it now. I'm just kind of dumb about it. Okay, it was 14 seconds, 12 seconds time to beat. That's not too bad. Um, now we'll continue ahead here. This is going to be mock-up apartment. Um, four enemies eliminate all terrorists. All right. Lock and load. Let's do this. All right, live fire area. Wow, we're actually killing these people. All right. Uh, um, so, I'm just going to assume there's no one over here. I shouldn't, but I am. Okay. So, step one, step one. I think what I'm going to do is uh, step up, flashbang this area here and then uh, from there wait for go code alpha oh, wait for go code alpha you step up wait for go code alpha to step in and uh, clear like that and then Actually, we're going to let you stay like that. Clear like that. Um, from your alpha checkpoint, you're going to move in like so, and clear there. Alright, go. Holding for alpha. Flash out. On go code alpha. Alright, next step. We're going to move him up here. Move her there. And I think we're going to do this an interesting way. Can lob one in there, and then, uh, oh, she's not quite at the right angle. Um, so never mind. We'll we'll trash that one. Oh, holding. Trash that one. We'll have you move, kind of like, uh, no, you're not gonna be able to make it in there. So the best thing we can kind of do is, um, from there you take like one little step and then you're going to wait for go code alpha and after that you're going to move in here and clear this room, kind of by yourself pretty much. Um, after that, you're, from here you're going to wait for go code alpha and then you're going to step up like here and uh, keep your eye in that doorway like so. Uh, what are you doing? Why are you holding? Moving. Good. Alright, go code alpha. alpha. Go. That's kind of what I thought was going to happen. So it's not too bad. Um, we'll have him... Affirmative. Oh, no. Trash action. We're going to have him move in like that and uh, check out that way and have her move in like that and uh, check out this way. But we're going to tell her to hold for a second and move so we're on a single unit. Now I'm going to imagine that's clear because you can't really hide a guy in there. And then uh, have him turn around. Have everybody stack up appropriately. Okay, so you're going to throw... Oh, you have one flash. Okay, that's perfect, actually. So... From here, throw a flashbang in there. Um, and then you can I can I manage to get a flashbang in there? I can. Hopefully we can just uh and then move right there, and then from here wait for go code alpha. You um, after you throw that, take like a step this direction, and then wait for go code alpha, and then from there. Go in here and clear, and then from here, okay. looking that way, take a step, look this way, and clear. And take another step, and then ensure that down here is clear. Flash out. Go. Go. I don't know how that person wasn't blinded by that flashbang. It landed like right in their face, but you know, whatever. Everybody's dead. Nobody's killed. So it's not too bad. 
Now I don't think any of our people are high enough level yet to do anything, so... So we have a police officer level 2 here. Assaulter class unlocked at squad level 4. Now that's a trooper rank. Okay, we're level 2. So we don't have like anybody of any kind of level yet. But we can start giving people other guns. If that's what uh, we're so inclined to do. Oh. Primary weapon. Yeah, so point man can't have primary weapons, which is weird. Alright, so mobility's pretty high with her. Two flashbang, two flashbang. Okay. So we'll do another single mission. Go kick in the door here. Lock and load. Um, Let's do this. Drag a path to the door and choose entry method, huh? Um, we're actually gonna use spy camera. Okay, we know where everybody's at. Now what that tells me is uh, a breaching charge would be effective because we might be able to kill a couple. And now uh, that one will be go code alpha. From here throw a flash inside over here on the couch. I really feel like that'll work once the door's blown off, but... I'm just gonna kinda roll with that. Yeah, so... Yeah, that'll definitely work once the door's gone. And that'll be go code Bravo. Alpha. Placing go. charge. So charge. Charge ready. Let's do it. Flashbang. Or that. Didn't quite realize our guy was going to do that. And then turn. Go. Good job. I don't know why our guy just stood there and let that happen. Um, that was kind of annoying. I want to actually redo that one. So I don't lose anybody. Now what I'm actually going to do here is... Uh, we're gonna go ahead and plant this breaching charge again. Placing charge. Okay. Charge in position. On it. No tangos. Why can we not blow it up? Okay, so we're gonna blow it up. Instantly pause this. Have our guy uh, get a flashbang in there, like so. Have this guy get a flashbang in there, like so. And then, uh, wait a second. Perfect. Have him turn the corner, like so. Clear. Have her come in, turn the corner, like so. And clear. Go. Good See, job. that was so much better. I don't know why she just stood there and uh, took the beating to the head. Improve result. Continue. And we'll actually go back see if we have a guy down up here. No, we don't, which is good. So as long as you actually complete the mission without losing somebody through one of the go-throughs, you won't lose anybody, which is good. Because I kind of liked her. Front plate only. Yeah. Low threat armor. Handguns, SMGs. Assaulter vest, SMGs, rifles. So that's pretty good. Raider vest. Yeah, front plane only can't be used by the shield. Kind of figured that one. Um, support gear. We don't really have anything that's. Actually, it's about the dynamic cannon and bolt cutter. Gives it your strongest man or whoever pulls the short stick today. Yeah. Jokes, jokes, jokes. So we'll do another single mission here. Mozart Street Apartment. 
So there could be three, there could be five, we don't quite know. All right. Two out of two troopers deployed. Um, I know there's an achievement for doing it with one. So I think we're gonna do it with just one. Time for this girl to be a badass. Lock yep. and load. Let's do this. All right. Um, first things first, because we only have one person. I'm checking out the area. Inside. So we're not going to get much more information than uh, there's two right there. Holding. Um. There's one other spot I could use a. There's two spots I could use breaching charges. But I feel like there's going to be people definitely held up back up in there. So I'm not going to waste my breaching charge here. I think I'm just going to kick it. Like, kick it in. Moving. They're here. Yeah. Holding. Moving. Okay, um, you're not going to do that right now, actually. You're going to kind of hang out right here. And then you're going to throw a flashbang for me. Like right about there. Or, you know, do a little waltz and then do it. Don't know why you did that. But hey. Alright, so I know for a fact there is a guy in there. So let's just uh, go in here and clear this. And then uh, after, kind of set up. Okay, not bad, not bad. She's hurt, definitely. But it could totally be worse. Um, gonna have uh, move down there like so. On your mark. Go around the corner like that. This could be me nasty if there's one person in here. Okay. In position. Which there isn't, which is perfect. Okay. Move like that. Sprint across. I don't think there's a sprint function, but I wish there was because she might get shot. No, she's good. Alright. Like so. Have um, I'm on it. her place a breaching charge. Placing charge. And we'll give everybody a little bit of shock charge and awe up here. Position. And then uh, we'll flash out this room. Flash out. Are you serious? Don't look at it. We're good. So that's all our flashes. That's everything that we had. So I guess it's just going to be good old fashioned shoot him in the face work. Okay. That, I can't believe that actually worked. Oh my. Okay. So we did finish it with... Uh, just one person, but I guess it doesn't really do too much for our uh, rating. But nothing terrible. We did get a Steam achievement as well. Okay, so now we have 10 points, which uh, we can use for like other armor or, you know, some actual. A less lethal grenade that spells rubber balls over four meter drain, cause a flea instinct that's effective. Yeah, it's, it's whatever. Mm hmm hmm. Interesting. All right, so we can give an assaulter vest, which um, just gives a little bit more armor, but it definitely decreases our mobility. I think I might save. What's doctrine do? Oh, okay, it lets us um, upgrade points here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Surgical shooting presented at all ranges of supply bonus and provided to close and medium range. Quick draw troopers become adept at deploying the handgun after a hands on evolution and maneuvering and around obstacles. Okay, so that'd be probably pretty good, as well as point shooting. And then we'll uh, check our roster really quick. There are other pistols and stuff, but um, the G17 is definitely doing what we need it to do currently. And there are better ones, but I feel like we should save our other guns for our more um, 
important weapons that we're going to get to soon. So level 6. Oh, we can also just generate missions, it's kind of cool. But uh, the Kepler building apartment, which is pretty big. Definitely going to want two people for this because last time that was pretty hard. Um, I doubt there's going to be anybody there just because of like you know the small area of it. We're just gonna keep pushing everybody up. Just like so, you know, shoot and move kind of thing. Keep him covered. Uh, we, uh, I think we're just gonna kick in that door as well. Oh god, should have flashed it. Well, that sucks. <laughs> uh, we're gonna restart this because I we got too bold there. That was my mistake. Let's do this. That was totally my mistake. No contact. Roger. Holding. Moving. Okay. See what's up here. Actually, I think we'll save the flash for a more effective area. Placing charge. We'll keep uh, him covered really quick. So, just Ready in case. Cops are here. Okay, now they definitely know we're here. So any moves we do now are uh, kind of going to be important. We're going to throw a flash up in there. And then uh, we're just going to keep him covered. Wilco. Like so. Okay, so he didn't actually get hit, which is good. We'll uh, have him move like that, have her move like that. Kick in this door. Make sure there's nobody there. Also go ahead and uh, kick in this door. And then uh, I think we'll have him hide behind this for a second and watch these doors. Okay, nobody in that one. Now we'll definitely do flash for this one. I'm on it. On target. I mean, flash out. On target. All right, so we'll move this person in here. Pretty good. Pretty good day. Time to. Oh, we won one second. One second. All right. It's not bad. <laughs> the replacement troops. It's terrible. Um, yeah, so far so good. I am liking this game. Uh, but for now, it's been going on for about 30 minutes right now. I'm probably going to call it an episode. I try to keep stuff shorter than I did in my RimWorld playthrough. Just because I would definitely lose track of time and it was uh, pretty ridiculous. Um, but hopefully I'll see you guys next time. This is Big Case 41 playing Door Kickers. See you guys later.